Whether you want to make a thought cloud or a cartoon cloud in your InDesign layout, you can create not only vector shapes in InDesign, but also you can create unique shapes that are formed by combining individual shapes. So in this tutorial, I'll show you how you can use the Pathfinder tool to create unique vector shapes in InDesign. So if you would like the speech and thought balloons that you could use in your layouts to change the color or scale, just click the link in the upper right hand corner or the link in the description and you can download this for free from my website, graphicsgirl.com. Hello, creative. It's your graphics girl of graphicsgirl.com. That's graphics with PH and S, girl with no I and three R's. And I'm here with a quick tip to help you design your brand. But first, would you like a free cheat sheet? Sir, yes, sir! Head over to graphicsgirl.com to download your free InDesign cheat sheet that will show you all the shortcuts in the program. Just click the link below. So to create a shape like this that actually is comprised of individual shapes, as I roll over these, you can kind of see them. If I come here under View, Extras, Show Frame Edges, you'll see all of the individual shapes that I have. See, you can pull them apart and you can start to see that this cloud shape was nothing more than the combination of individual shapes. So watch this. You can combine basic shapes to create a complex shape with this tool known as the Pathfinder. To show your Pathfinder panel, come to Window, Object and Layout, Pathfinder. So now that I have selected all of the individual shapes, I can come here under Pathfinder and choose the Add or Unite filter. Now, this is one shape. You can kind of see that, I'll put this away. You can kind of see that even from the edges. But to bring home the point, you can see if I take off the fill, to put it to None, and make my stroke black, you can see that I no longer have the individual shapes, meaning if I selected all of these individual shapes, made it none with a stroke of black, why, that's what you're looking at. The difference between the individual basic shapes and one complex shape. So you might look at this and say, that's not that complex, but take a look at it over here. Looks pretty complex. So a cloud is just one example. You can create any shape in the world that's a combination of two separate shapes. For example, here I'll select all of this and delete. So I'll go ahead and create a rectangle. One basic shape. Next, I'll get myself another basic shape like an ellipse. Here, I'll make it a different color so we can see the difference when I draw it on screen. I'll make a perfect circle by holding down the shift key. Now I'll select both by clicking on the artboard and dragging over both. Then I'm going to align these two shapes by making them centered. I could use the align tool in the options menu or my actual align panel. If I subtracted the circle from the rectangle, I would be left with an archway. So to do that, I would again use the Pathfinder tool. Selecting the artboard and dragging in to get both shapes. I could come to the Pathfinder panel and this time choose Subtract. Subtracts the frontmost object from the backmost object. And voila, I'm left with this archway. You can see here, I can change it different colors and scale it as one. So that's how you can use the Pathfinder panel to create complex vector shapes in your InDesign layouts. So if you found this video helpful, give it a like. Yes! Share it with your friends and please subscribe to my channel. Okay. And don't forget, for free marketing, branding, and design resources, head over to graphicsgirl.com. That's graphics with PH and S, girl with no I and three R's. And I'm here to help you design your brand.
Thank you.